today we are going to learn a very important concept of unit vector so we will start with the difference between the vector and unit vector so that at the end of this lecture you can differentiate easily between the vectors and the unit vectors and you will definitely understand at the end of this lecture that how they differ from each other so most of us get confused about the unit vectors so we'll start with the vectors first then i'll compare one of uh, one by one their properties so that you can easily differentiate between the two so vector is basically a quantity having magnitude plus direction now if i say this red line is a vector so let's say this is this red line is a vector a and this line have some magnitude and we don't know what is the magnitude and this line or this vector have some magnitude it could be any and the direction as well so magnitude plus direction will give you a vector so this is the simplest definition of the vector so this line represents a vector now what about the unit vector now as its name indicate unit unit means one that means that means the magnitude of this vector will always be one so so if the magnitude of a vector is one you will say this is a unit vector and it will have direction as well as it is written that this is a vector so unit means one so the magnitude of the unit vector will be one while the magnitude of the vector could be any it depends what vector is given this is the first basic difference between the two now let's move towards their representation or notation how we can say that or we how we can represent or how we can write a vector or what is the notation of the vector and what is the notation of the unit vector so a vector is represented by an arrow at the top like this equals to you can say 1 3 so this is a vector this is or you can say one of the uh, form of writing a vector now what if we say what is the form of writing a unit vector it will be a with the hat at the top equals to x i plus y j so i'm talking about two dimension here it could be in the three dimension as well where we will add z or in th three dimension you can write here as x y z and k now what is i j k i will explain it later so currently you just need to know the difference in the notation of the vector and the unit vector in vector we have an arrow at the top of the alphabet and in case of unit vector we will have a hat or cap then the next difference between the two is now if you are given with the vector that is let's say as i have written above a goes to 1 and 3 it is clear from here that this is not a unit vector so we have to convert it in a, into a unit vector now how it is clear from here that it is not a uh, it is not a unit vector because in here if we find the magnitude of this vector it will not be equal to 1 so how we can find the magnitude of this vector we can easily find it as for example if i draw here in the coordinate system one means that the vector is one unit in the x direction and three units in the y direction and three units in the y direction so what will be the magnitude this will be the magnitude so here we have made a right triangle and in order to find the magnitude or the value or the length of this hypotenuse we have to apply the pythagoras theorem so it is clear from here this is one unit this is three unit and we can apply the pythagoras theorem to find the magnitude of this vector so what we will get is under root 1 square is 1 plus 3 square is 9 it will be equals to under root 10 so under root 10 is 3 point some something it means the magnitude of this vector is not 1 what we want to do we want to convert this vector into the unit vector now let's see how we can do that conversion for that there is a formula now what is the formula formula is a cap is equals to the given vector a divided by the magnitude of the vector so if you apply this formula you can easily get a vector having the magnitude equals to 1 so let's apply here as the given vector was 1i if i write it in the unit vector form 1i plus 3j i is a unit vector in the direction of x axis and j is a unit vector in the direction of y axis so we have to make them one we have to make the magnitude of this vector as one now we have to divide it by its magnitude as we have already found its magnitude that is under root 10 but we will get is 1i divided by under root 10 plus 3j divided by under root 10 now this is a unit vector in the direction of the given vector a1 comma 3 now how will come to know that this is the uh, this is now the unit vector we can prove it by finding the magnitude of this unit vector so the magnitude of this vector will be under root again we have to take the square of the i and j comp uh, uh, component 
तो वन डिवाइडेड बाई अंडर रूट टेन स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई अंडर रूट टेन स्क्वायर इट विल बी इक्वल टू अंडर रूट वन प्लस नाइन विल बी टेन टेन डिवाइडेड बाई टेन इज इक्व टू वन सो वी हैव गॉट द वैक्टर विद द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ वन दैट इज अट वैक्टर सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन कन्वर्ट अ सिंपल वैक्टर इन टू द यूनिट वैक्टर एज अ सिंपल वैक्टर इज अ स्केल्ड वर्जन ऑफ द यूनिट वैक्टर सो नाउ द वैक्टर विल बी द वन हैविंग द मैग्नीट्यूड इक्वल टू वन नो वन थिंग मोर हेयर इज यूनिट वैक्टर आर वेरी मच हेल्पफुल इन केस ऑफ द वैक्टर एडिशन एंड मल्टीप्लीकेशन or you can say so by using the unit vectors so let's see what is i j and k for that purpose let's draw here if we have a vector as 3 and 4 let's say this is a vector this is basically the component form of the vector and when we place i j and k that will be the unit form of the vector so here a 3 4 it means 3 is the x component and 4 is the y component and if we draw it on the graph we will get what let's see it means if i represent it with the red color three units on the x axis and four units on the y axis so this is a vector and if we draw it like this we will get a vector a but what in case of unit vector if we draw it similarly in case of unit vector what we will get let's see here we have three then four and then vector a now in terms of unit vector we will have this i having the magnitude of 1 and j having a magnitude of 1 so by scaling i and j we can get this vector or by dividing the given vector by the magnitude of that vector we can get the unit vector so this is how they differ uh, unit vectors are basically the you can say we can say a standard vector on which we by, by applying different operation we can get we can get the other vectors so as uh, uh, this is in two dimension in three dimension we will have k that will also have the magnitude of 1 so by scaling i j and k we can get the other vectors so unit vectors also helps us in the addition of the vectors as graphically we can do addition by head to tail rule but if you if, are given with the with the vectors in the uh, unit vector form you can easily add them you can easily add them by adding uh, by adding the corresponding i j and k components so one thing more important here is you can also identify just by looking at the vector that whether it is a unit vector or not how let's say if you are given with the vector like a is equals to 6 3 now can you say that this is a unit vector no because unit vector will always have the magnitude 1 one. one thing is to identify by finding the magnitude of this vector and the other thing that is clear will be uh, that will be clear for you that you will came across a unit vector with the value like 1 0 or or 0 1 so it is clear from here that if we find their magnitude it will be equals to 1 if we find their magnitude it will be equals to 1 so it means you can easily identify from uh, identify from here that whether the given vector is a unit vector or not by finding its magnitude or if by just looking at the vector if the values are like small or if the values are in the fraction then you have to use the method of finding the magnitude of the vectors in order to identify the unit vectors so that's all from today's lecture hope it will help you a lot in the next lecture we will learn more about the unit vectors thank you